afternoon, angels. Happy Thursday. Welcome back. Hope you are all okay. So this week, what we're going to be doing are what are the hidden emotions for you. So we're going really deep into uh, your person's subconscious mind. Ooh. Um, as always, it works in the strongest mutual energy between you all. So debt number one, Deck number two, pick the deck that you are most drawn to. Because we're going into the subconscious, it was more important to kind of use the more shadowy side decks. Uh, so I love both of these decks, number one and number two, Tarot de la Nuit uh, and the Silver Witchcraft Tarot. Both very, very beautiful artwork, beautiful decks. Number one, number two, think about your person, feel your heart-centered energy going towards the deck that you are most drawn to. And if you're a little bit wavering between the two and you don't know which one to pick, there'll be messages within both that you will need to listen to. Okay, so let's do this, deck number one. So it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances, your situations, or what is happening. Uh, go into all your energies, all your people's energy, and pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. Okay, think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? So I've got a song. I got the, the whole of the moon, which is really interesting, seeing as we're talking more about the subconscious shadow side of things a little bit today. So I can't remember who sang You Saw the Whole of the Moon, um, but basically what it's saying is that they can be a little bit blinkered in how they see things, um, and you guys do see the big picture, you see the whole of what is actually going on, and you see the whole of the moon, and they see little bits of it. Lyrics are absolutely beautiful. If you haven't heard that song before, it's absolutely beautiful song. The whole of the moon. I want to say it was something by like the Water Boys, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, don't quote me on that a hundred percent. Okay, so let's have a look at what are their hidden emotions for you. What are debt number one's people's hidden emotions for those watching? Where are we going? How many do you want? My guide is saying nine. Yeah, you saw the whole of the moon. Beautiful, beautiful song. Three, four, you want nine, 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 nine. Nine, nine, nine kind of popping out of my mouth there. That is symbolizing um, that you're reaching an end of a chapter, starting a new one. Not quite at the 10, which is the endings and new beginnings, but you're heading in that direction. So watch out for 999s kind of coming up all around you. What are their hidden emotions? Number one, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one more. Nine. Okay, let's have a look what is happening with your person. So they have buried a lot within their mind. Their emotions for you are there, but they are very under the surface level so you've got this big mask of what they want you to perceive them as how you want them to perceive them and then underneath that mask you have a bunch of hidden emotions a bit of complications going on in their thought process towards you so they are reflecting on this situation at the moment. In their subconscious mind, they are reflecting on this situation at the moment. They can see that this has got a future. They can see that there is a sense of stability and security coming from this, um, that they can see that you guys can be together, but they are really internalizing at this moment in time. It's like they, when they go through these darker periods, you always seem to be that little bit of light in their life, which draws them towards you. Um, so they could be going through a few difficult things in their life at the moment, family, children, friends, life situations, could just be going through a bit of a rough time and you are being this light, okay? So they are still seeing you in this very strong position um, that they are really drawn to you especially when things go a little bit wrong which isn't necessarily a good thing but they have got this major major pull for you um, and it's feeling a little bit more stable than what it has done before they have a sense of confusion coming up with this as well and um, they are getting a little bit frustrated with themselves because they can see uh they they know that you guys could be together they know that you guys um 
could have a fresh start but there's a sense of confusion going on within them um, because they're like am I ready to take the next step am I ready for this part of my life to be able to commit to this person as much as I feel like I should do so they're backing away a little bit um, not giving you 100% of what it is that you want but their emotions are there they're just a little bit clouded at the moment and whenever we see clouds in Lenormand specifically clouds are standing for confusion they're standing for a little bit of troubled thoughts so your person is having um, really processing analyzing these troubled thoughts that they are going through at this moment in time there's a sense of denial happening over here as well we've got this sense of with the sevens kind of coming up this sense of well you know um very again kind of coming back to that surface level that they have this perception of how they want it to be and then they have this how it actually is um and there's a little bit of them lying to themselves on this there's a little bit of denial a little bit of i'm not going to really allow this situation to unfold just at this point in time and it comes back to this sense of confusion um, that they're not quite ready to take the next step to this connection doesn't mean they haven't got emotions for you it's just that they are really kind of fighting their ego it's like their ego and their soul basically their soul is calling them towards you their ego is pulling them back and it is leading to this kind of um, syndrome let's call it of you know I'm just going to act the way that I am acting and not give you guys much in between so you are left with this sense of confusion your person has also been really hurt before in the past and through that feeling of being hurt and um, they are watching what they are doing they're a bit scared to let their heart be put on the line again so there is emotions they're just very very kind of buried underneath the surface scared of being hurt sense of denial um reflecting on what it is that they actually want and what pathway they want to go down uh, new beginnings kind of flagging up over here um but it's just this case of i want to take my time with this so slow and steady is going to win, win the race here it is going to be slow it is have we got a knight of pentacles we haven't um but we have got this sense of kind of slow energy coming at this point in time we've also got these red ruby slippers okay uh, no place like home. So a little Wizard of Oz thing going on over here. When you see this kind of ruby slippers, we always know that this is when she says she wants to go home. For you guys, you do feel that sense of security and stability. They see that with you. They see that you can be their home. But again, they're just blocking that energy right now. Now, the good news is that through this kind of period of stagnancy let's call it through this period of stagnancy through this period of downtime they're gonna suddenly come up with this wave of justice for the same wave of justice the scales are going to re-tip so where they've been balancing this kind of ego and soul energy the scales are now going to tip back into your favor and you've got this kind of immediate action coming towards you are they going to give you what you want through this immediate action? It's still got a little bit of uh, spirit saying tampering, like a little bit tapering, sorry, wavering a little bit here, a little bit there, slowly, steady, backwards, forwards, bit of tapering going on with this connection. But you have got this movement coming in. Now, it's possible that your person isn't going to suddenly come to you and confess that undying love for you. It might be more of a sexual vibe that they throw on you and more of a lust vibe. Reason for that is because a lot of the time they don't know how to handle emotions they don't know how to talk about their feelings because again kind of coming back to that ego energy they don't want to get hurt so it's easier for them to talk on a more sexual front with you um than on a i love you i want to be with you connection front but you have got this movement coming in they're feeling quite lonely at this moment in time they're feeling quite heavy quite sad here comes the sneeze <coughs> <coughs> I even moved my incense over the other side of the room today. I was like, I'm going to move it over to the other side of the room. Happens all the time when I start reading. Just start sneezing. Um, not even allergy season yet. So uh, as I said before, one of you guys said in, in your culture is when you sneeze is when you're talking the truth. So um, your person has a sense of loneliness going on around them there's also the sense of chaos happening you might find that they are partaking in a little bit of escapism behavior at the moment so it could be alcohol drugs 
gambling, sitting on PlayStation for hours and hours. There feels to be this kind of sense of, I just want to escape the situation because when I think about it too much, it really intensifies and I don't know how to deal with it, especially when I'm going through this period of reflection. So you have that energy coming up over here. Movement, again, lots of cards of movement happening around you. We've got three out of nine cards suggesting movement coming in. Okay, so they are going to be messaging you, reaching out to you, creating that contact. As I said, it's more likely to be on a kind of sexual front, a little bit blasé, uh, but please know that there are underlying emotions of in this. So when we're looking at your person's emotions as a whole, they are there. They are there, but they are they are buried they're not dealing with them at this moment in time and um, there's a sense of confusion and chaos around them but they can they do have them they do have these feelings um they can see that this can head in a, a more positive direction with you both it's just that they are stagnating that energy they're not acting on it at the moment uh, very strong sexual pull between you guys as well very strong chemistry very strong connection uh Emotions are there, feelings are there, just buried very, very low. So they're not suddenly going to confess that they're totally and utterly in love with you or anything like that. They are just going to take it easy, take it gentle, take it slow. Um, but that slow and steady movement will lead to them progressing in a quicker, faster direction towards you guys. Um, they are lonely as well. There's a sense of loneliness that's coming up over here, a sense of longing, sense of yearning, sense of, oh, I'm feeling quite heavy, quite low um, with the whole world at the moment, but more with this connection as well. They are kind of feeling that they're shooting themselves in the foot a little bit because they see that this can be stable. They see that this can have a future. They feel that this can have a future, but they just aren't quite sure what to do about it at this point in time. Emotions wise, let me just get three more. I feel like we need three more. Can I have three more cards, please? It comes back to that song at the start as well. You saw the whole of the moon. Like they are a little bit blinkered in their perception of you and them at this moment in time. That doesn't mean they don't have feelings for you. There's also, let's look at these four cards that we've just got over here. There is also this kind of sense of a little bit of envy with that. Oh, I know. Reason why is because you guys are kind of awoke, let's say, awoken to what you should be doing with your life, your purpose, what you're here for, what you want to do, what pathways you want to take. You have been um, awakened to that and your person is kind of living um, is it sorry is existing rather than living they're not living their best life they are feeling a little bit jealous and a little bit insecure that you can see the whole of the moon and they can only see what they are blinkered to and they're frustrating themselves with that they are getting really really annoyed with themselves very strong spiritual connection happening here okay very very strong connection uh more divine energy coming up. So twin flames, high vibrational soulmates, anything along those lines, you will know the depth of your connection through your connection and your emotions and your feelings. They want to sit, hang on to this and see where it goes. There's potential marriage again, kind of coming up a bit, well, further down the line for you guys, but marriage coming in here, um, aligning your energies. So at the moment, your energies just aren't quite on the same alignment, but they are heading that way. And as soon as your energies do align with each other, that is when you've got this faster, quicker movement coming in. Three cards of movement in all of this. Strong energy coming forward, strong movement coming in. Just a little bit of a delay, a little bit of stagnancy. But do know, you know, it's not that they don't have emotions for you. They do have feelings. They do care for you. Um, they're just blinkered at the moment just burying it hiding away running from their soul running from their soul purpose and what they actually want in life um and what they actually want is heading in the right direction with you but whilst their ego is in control um you're going to feel like you're banging you guys are going to feel like you're banging your head against a little bit of a brick wall Good side of things, positive side of things, again, is that there are emotions, they do care for you, the sexual energy is knockout, as in really, really hardcore, you know, good energy, uh, powerful connection between you guys, it's just that they're burying it, sense of denial, okay, but positive, there is positivity here and there is movement, long, longing, just heard longing, longing for you, they've just got to get out of their own way basically. 
Okay, and that is step number one. All right, lovelies, if you need me, uh, all the details are in the comments. Uh, have a really good, blessed week. Uh, tons of love to you all, and I will speak to you all soon. God bless. Okay, guys, deck number two. So it works on the strongest energy between you all, regardless of your individual circumstances. So it's a mutual collective reading. Um, okay, and we're going to look at what their hidden emotions are for you. So deck number two. My guide is saying that we need nine cards. He said exactly the same in deck number one. Okay, think about your person for me. We're going to get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes, and or possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, changes of deck number two. And let's look at what are their hidden emotions for you. So I've got... Um, Oh, Lord. Who sang that? This, it's a Taylor Swift one. Uh, Death by a Thousand Cuts. Flashbacks waking me up. So parts of that song will make sense to some of you. Sometimes some of the song will make sense to all... Well, all of the song will make sense to some of you. Um, but other than that, parts of the song will make sense to others. Okay. Um, it's talking about how, if I can remember, how you still have a love for someone and how uh, the emotions and the feelings, your hips, your your heart, your body, your love, trying to find a part of me you didn't take up, etc. Um, so that's coming up in your energy, which is kind of a good start, really. What are the hidden emotions for deck number two? Where are we going with deck number two? One. Oh, that's so cute. It's a good start. Two, three, four. My heart, my hips, my body, my neck. <laughs> you wouldn't believe that my mum um, used to be a professional singer and I, I, I'm like a drum rat. I can't sing at all. What are the hidden emotions? Six. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. 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 So these cards are good. These cards are really, really positive. We have a very strong bond between you guys. It is very grounded. It is very deep rooted. Um, the roots kind of go right into the center of Gaia. So from that, this is a relationship which has stood the test of time. This is a relationship that has built solid foundations. It can be a little bit shaky at this moment in time, but the relationship that the two of you share is solid, okay? Um, the love that you two share is solid. There is a strong sense of protection. There is a strong sense of love. There is a strong sense of family. There is a strong sense of wanting to commit if they haven't committed to you yet. There is a strong sense of this can have a future. We want a family. We want a child. We want to do this. We want to do that. We want to travel. Whatever your life goals, your ambitions and your dreams are, are very, very likely that you are going to have this with your person because they're real deep feelings for you. So let's start off over here. Okay, we have this kind of song, this dance, this merriness, merriness, merriment, spirit, merriment, spirit, I say, May, Beltane coming up over here. If you can look over, I don't know if you can see, but you have like the uh, maypole. Did any of you dance at school? We used to have to dance at school, um, the maypole. So you have Beltane coming up here, May, a really, really significant month for you guys. Shifting movement, dog symbolising the protection this relationship being protected, your person is looking towards you, they're seeing you in this kind of uh, powerful energy, this loving energy, this passionate energy, and they want a future with you. How amazing is that? And again, it's deep rooted. I love it when readings do this. So we have this intuition going on with you guys. You are fully aware of it. You do know that your person has these strong feelings for you. Like I said, you wobble, a little bit but wobbling is okay that's part of human nature we can't all be superhuman all the time you do have a few little wobbles as your mind takes over um to counteract that energy um it mind is very very much air energy so if you are feeling very airy like you're very much up in your thought go outside get some grounding going on within you um 
just go, you know, or go into your garden, take your shoes off, walk bare feet. Anything along those to ground that energy between you guys. Just if your mind is starting to tick, tick, boom, as we'd say. That was a song as well. Tick, tick, boom. Okay, lots of new beginnings happening here, lots of intuition, lots of very strong divine female energy. Please listen to your own instinct and your own gut on this because there is shifts and there is frequency raising up with this connection. Spirit are saying any kind of manifestations that you've thrown out into the universe are now aligning with your sense of purpose as the two of you are being brought together. Okay. The only kind of more heavier cards, let's call them heavier cards, we've got Hermit, Eight of Swords. So could be a little bit of stagnancy happening with your person, could be a little bit trapped, a little bit stuck. Um, they will come out of it. It's only short lived. It won't take long. Um, wherever you guys are in your individual chapters, this hermit mode this retreating from the situation it won't take long they're just going to be going inside of themselves to try and get out of this stickiness okay the stickiness what is causing what is the the root cause of the stickiness what is the root cause of the stickiness yeah fear denial being hurt in the past uh, past issues coming up over here um can they give you the life that you want can they be the in a sense kind of that provider for everything that you want in your life a little bit of a worry with them with that but it's shifting you know this is all kind of short-lived over here so this little bit of a fear within themselves of um have they got the abilities to give you what you want have they got the abilities to give you this excellent relationship that you desire is it within them to give you everything you want and that just causes them a little bit of fear uh it could be that they're worried about money stability security um are you actually going to be happy when this relationship takes the next steps as I said, this is short lived, so no fear with this one. Other than that, what else have we got? We've got some major, you've got a bunch of major arcanas coming up. Uh, we have the moon over here, but you've also got the world, the chariot, the sun and the star. Uh, the last five cards and then ace of swords as well. Okay, so lots of things, situations going on, lots of alignment, and these situations are all positive. There's no towers, there's no devils, there's no darkness. This is all really, really positive energy coming your way. So their emotions for you, they've got a lot of hope. They've got ideas that this is going to be leading them in the right direction, reaching for you. I just got a song with that. Um, I reach for your hand. I can't remember who sings that, but that's a song lyric within the song. I reach for your hand. Okay, it reminds me a little bit of E.T. Phone Home. You know, as that connection, that bonding of the two of you. It's almost as if your energies could just reach out and touch each other. Potentially a little bit of astral traveling going on over here. Telepathy, again, more higher vibrational connection. Um, hope on this being the right path. You know, the star always reminds me of... Um, the the three kings following the star to get to baby jesus it reminds me of that and what it's talking about here is that you know following the right path getting to where you want to be the star popping up the sun as well so a lot of astrological energy moon stars and suns a lot of alignment going on again all right, we also have the world if we want to go a little bit further into the astrology. Lots of alignment happening with you guys. You've got the feminine and you've got the masculine energy. Uh, moon is feminine, masculine uh, is the sun. You have the pathway of the moon, you have the pathway of the sun and the two energies meeting in the middle. The sun indicating happy times, very strong connection, happy outcomes, everything that you want. Uh, so emotions there, the world are coming together, a joining of hearts, a joining of the connection, the bonds that you share, um, being guided a lot by ancestors I'm hearing with this as well, so you've got an ancestral heritage between you both, they are putting you on a little bit of a pedestal, looking towards you thinking this is the person that I really want to be with and again deep rooted relationship, very strong roots here. Longer term objectives coming up, balancing of your energies, yin and yang, emotions and communications really being balanced and cutting out the bullshit, 
sorry, no other way to explain it, cutting out the bullshit to have your new beginnings, releasing any fears that have held them back so that you guys can be moving together into this connection with one another. So the underlying emotions for you are wow. The hidden emotions of wow. Um, if we took away these fear-based energies over here, you have absolutely everything that you want in this connection and a lot of potential for it to work out. You know, very, very strong love. May, again, May, Spirit are saying, coming up as a month for a great dynamic shift within you guys. And if there's birthdays and celebrations around that time as well, major, major shifts going on. Do listen to uh, your own inner knowing, your own inner truth. You won't be misguided by that. Especially, again, kind of coming back to the astrology of this. You might find that you guys get a little bit more affected by the full moon. Remember that with our bodies... Um, you know, our bodies are largely water. So when a full moon happens, like the tides, it can make our the water in our body go a little bit haywire as well. And when that happens, it can make you extra emotional because water symbolizes emotions. So you guys might be a little bit affected by the full moon. Um, if you are feeling that energy of, you know, the full moon really rocking around with your emotions and you've got a good month now or, or a good few weeks now before the next full moon, we've only just had one. Um, but when you feel that, it's really important to do some kind of surrendering, releasing, really do let that energy go because in the new moon, you can bring in what it is that you desire and want. And this connection is heading in a really, really phenomenal direction for you guys. Your person's emotions are very, very deep, really, really deep rooted. And this is the person, you are the person that they want to be with. And if they're being a little bit of an ass, leave them to it because this isn't this isn't this is short lived short lived won't last forever we'll come back round and if they've been a little last for a, a bit of time again kind of coming to the same energy that it's still going to be short lived from now won't be long till they come back towards you with a higher perspective on things and wanting this connection to work between you guys okay and that is deck number two. So my lovelies, have an absolutely blessed week. Uh, I'm sending tons of goddess blessings your way. I will speak to you all soon. Uh, look after yourselves and stay safe. Bye my lovelies, ciao.